The need to engage in a rigorous way with our political system, inform decisions and policies have become paramount for every Ghanaian as the political landscape becomes dynamic and fast-paced. Ghana has an enviable record of being a beacon of democracy and one of the safest countries in West Africa. But political experts believe the country can experience exponential growth and attraction in the global arena if its citizens are civic-minded, knowledge-seeking and duty-conscious. Critical to this is an informed and inquisitive media. It is worrying that the overcharged partisanship of the media landscape is eroding support for media freedom in this country. This is because the critical press is drowned by a partisan press, leading to a credibility crisis for journalists and genuine fear that the media are becoming incubators for political conflict. We must learn about what we expect of our leaders, what our rights and duties are, and what the facts are. This education is not necessarily formal. It comes from the development of an inquiring mind that builds critical political literacy. Delivering an inaugural lecture on the theme, Deficits of Critical Citizenship in Ghana, a critique of political illiteracy, civic irresponsibility, and uncritical followership, Professor Tate disclosed that leadership is not a preserve for those who occupy political office, but it behoves all Ghanaians to hold leaders to a high standard of performance and not to settle for mediocrity, for transparency, socio-economic, and political transformation. A citizenry that exercises its sovereign rights and duties can surmount the shenanigans of the political class and get the latter to be responsive. There's evidence in this country that even the most notorious of our political leaders can be whipped into shape, even if reluctantly, if enough decent and discerning people across the political spectrum stand together for what is right and do not reward bad behavior. Accountable and responsible citizenship and critical followership are fundamental anchors that cannot be compromised if Ghana is to become a mature and transformative democracy.